Hey Projection Mappers, this is Dan Phillips from Phillips Projections and you are watching one of the many videos in my DaVinci Resolve tutorial series. In this video, we are going to be starting off our Christmas Vacation DaVinci Resolve tutorial where I'm going to take you right from the very beginning of the show all the way to the end of the show. And at the end of this, as long as you followed along, you will have a complete show that you can use. And I chose to use my Christmas Vacation. I mean, oh boy, I've been using this one. I don't even know how, how many years. I think I started this off in like 2016, 2017. It went pretty big. It was widely replicated. So why not show you how to replicate it? So I'm going to take you through. We're starting at DaVinci Resolve. So I opened it up and now we're going to be creating our new project. So I'm going to go down here to new project. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to title it and you can choose however you want to title yours but I'm going to title mine Christmas Vacation Tutorial. Now this will generally open in the last tab that you were in so I have it right here in the cut tab. I actually want to go ahead and slip over to the edit tab. Now that I'm in the edit tab, I'm going to go ahead and add my clip in here. What I had done, and you can go back to the previous video where I had downloaded from YouTube and I found the link that I liked uh, of the clip of him turning on the lights and I am adding that in. So I downloaded it and now I'm adding it in. So I right clicked. I went to import media, I'm going over to my downloads, and then I'm going to pick it right off the top, hit open. I don't want to change the frame rate, so I'm going to click don't change. And you can see that it popped up right here. So if I click on a single, or I can change the, I can rename it, I don't want to rename it. So I'm going to double click on this and I can preview it over here. This is the clip that I want. So you can see in this clip, it starts in the very beginning. The lights are on, the lights are off, he annoys the neighbor, lights are on, lights are off, lights are on, everybody comes out, okay? So this is a very long clip and what I have found is as people are coming through your shows, you wanna make sure you get them in, do and ah, no matter where they are at when they get there, and also coax them out where they feel fulfilled that they got out. You don't want them to be in and sitting there forever watching this 30 minute show. It would be cool, but it's not very good for traffic and it gets a little monotonous at times. So I usually try to keep my shows nice and quick, one song in and out, gone. And even this, 2 minutes and 32 seconds for what this is, it's just too much. So let's chop this guy up. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click, I'm going to drag it over, and you'll see that depending on where I'm at, so right here, it just showed that a video one came over, but I'm coming over, and once I get over into this section, you can actually see the video on the timeline. And as I'm moving it around, I can drop it right there, but I really want to drop it right up at the front. And you can see that it sucks its way on. That's because the magnet tool's turned on. That magnet tool's right here. And so it's snapping right over. So here it is, it's snapped in, and I want to go ahead and start cruising through and deleting some sections. So I have a blade tool here. That's the one that I like to use. So I'm gonna go through. And I like to get the scene where he's walking on out. So let's skip this part. 
All right, so he's about to start walking out as she walks away. All right, there she goes, and here he comes around. So I want to make sure I get her out of the scene. So she's out. So she's out of the screen. So now I'm going to click on bleed, and I'm going to bring it on over. And since I have this snapping tool on, it's going to bring me right over right where I want it to be. See how that snapped right on? And snap. So I'm going to click right there. Boom. Now what I can do is go back to my select, click this, hit delete. All right. And I'm going to move this on over and down. So now I'm going to go through. He's walking out. And he gets there, picks up the cords. Now it jumps to the garage, and that's kind of confusing. So I'm going to bring it right here. And now I'm going to blade it again. All right, there's my blade. Now I'm going to start going through and see where I want it to go. So I like to skip this whole part. I know, it's kind of funny watching him out there um, messing around with the lights. So you could have it go on and you can have the lights kind of like flicker a little bit, but I usually will just skip until he does the big, there it is. All right. So here we go. I'm going to get right to this spot and I'm going to make sure my magnets on. I have my blade tool and click. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying the tutorial so far. There is a lot of time and research that I put into all of these tutorials. It is great that we have platforms like this that I can help share and spread the knowledge. These tutorials are ad supported and from donations from generous viewers like you. In an effort to further share the information, give a better experience for the viewers, share files and resources, as well as support the channel monetarily, I created a website and a course. The website houses a lot of information and resources from many great contributors in the projection mapping community. It is updated regularly as new useful resources become available. The course, that's another resource that is continuing to grow. It acts as an organized and ad-free experience. There is exclusive content and resources that are included with the course enrollment. For instance, the media used in the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation tutorial series? Well, that's in the course, included for free. You just need a click to download. The final platform is the store. In the store, you will find different resources that are available for purchase at reasonable prices. Keep an eye out for coupons and specials, especially during the off season. All of the funds that are raised are reinvested back into the growth of the channel through purchases of hardware, software, and other things that can be used to create new tutorials, reviews, and demonstrations. There are two free things that you can do right now to support the channel. Please like this video and subscribe below. The more likes and followers that we have, the more likely companies are to send loaner or demo resources for us to work with and share on this website, all free for you to access. I thank you for your time and consideration of supporting this channel. Please enjoy the remainder of your free tutorial. Now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this section. Now to get rid of this section, did you see how I went and I did it the first time? I hit delete and it just sat there with that space and I drug or I changed my cursor and I drug it over. Did it work? Yes, it definitely worked, but there's got to be a better way. Here is the better way. So I'm going to click on this section and now I'm going to do a ripple delete. So I'm going to hold shift and hit delete and boom. It deleted and shifted everything on over. So let's go ahead and let's play this, see where we're at. He's walking out. Just do it. And as he's walking on out, he bends down, stands up, it pans over to him coming up, and 
Ah, uh, once again, we're back out here into the garage, and I don't want to be in the garage, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this over, and it looks like I have to go fine-tune, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right, so I'm zooming in just by dragging this bar over. That way I can get the exact frame. Now... I don't want to cut the audio now because I want the audio to play through with it already made the click the sparks I want the hallelujah to stay nice and full so what I'm going to do I'm going to click on this tab and that turns off the linking so when I go to do my click my cutting it should only cut the top all right so I'm right there now I'm going to click and it only cut the top and now I'm moving forward and there he is with his eyes open the nice reaction all right so I cut that out and now I'm going to go all the way down to the end all right and I'm going to click right there now the rest of this is pretty much just them as a family walking out, taking a look. A little short snip of him staring, but the rest of it is just family and the neighbors. So I'm going to delete the last of this bit. So this time I just want to hit delete selected because I want the audio to stay perfect. And untouched. Now I have a problem. Alright, I have all this space that I need to fill. Let's see where I want to end this whole thing. So I'm going to scrub through and listen. And right before it starts that four, I think this is a nice spot to end. So I am going to go over, I'm going to bleed, right click and delete selected. All right, so this is a good spot for my audio to end, but I need this video to make it all the way out to that spot. How can I do this? So because this is unlinked, now I can mess around with just this clip. So I'm going onto this clip and I'm right clicking and I'm going to go to the read time controls. When I get to the read time controls, you can see that it now has the speed change and you can see a lot of errors right there in a hundred percent that means that is normal speed but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to drag and as you see me dragging it out what do you see happening oh, all the people came out that's not what I want so how can I do that I'm going to change the speed and I can do that by clicking up at the top instead of at the video part. I'll click at the top where my arrow looks like this. And then I'm going to drag it out and you can see my percent changing. I'm now at 48 and I'm going to drag it all the way until it snaps to the end. And there I am at 32. Now when I go to rewatch this, the audio should stay the same, but the video speed should slow down. So here we go. Let's see. Perfect. You can hear that he the video the sound is perfect, but the actual video is nice and slow of him just looking around, and then a nice end. Boom. Now it's over. And that is it for this segment of the tutorial. I have the long Christmas vacation light sequence cut down to just over a minute, which is perfect. And this clip is ready to go right into my show, the one that we are creating together. I hope this video was informative to you and you were able to follow through all of the steps. It went through a lot of different steps all the way from adding media to retiming scenes and bleeding scenes using the linking, cutting only the video, um, cutting both at the same time with the blade tool, talking about delete versus ripple delete, 
Boy, we covered a lot in this short clip. I look forward to continuing this process. Thanks.